The truth is, I don't ever remember not being able to ski. Sports was a big part of our family. Out of all the sports that we did, I think skiing was the most special, partly because it was something that all of us could do together. My name is Barbara Ann Cochran, and I'm the ski school director at Cochran Ski Area. When I first learned to ski, I was about, um, I think I was about three years old, and I just remember that it was a blast. When I was nine, my parents were looking for a place in the country with a hill behind it. This is the hill. It's, it's not very long, not very steep, but probably ran about, I don't know, 10 to 14 gates. My dad, Mickey Cochran, started cutting trees and blazing a trail. Because he had been such a good athlete himself, he knew that just training on weekends really wasn't enough. So he had a vision that he wanted to build a rope toe in the backyard so that we could ski more than just on weekends, so that we could do the best that we could. And our, our friends would come from like all different ski clubs and the kitchen was the lodge. I mean, the, if people wanted to warm up, they'd just go into the kitchen. And I just remember cars parking along the road. So we developed this strong community connection and it was so much fun. Our family actually became known as the Skiing Cochrans, the first family of American skiing. I have a, an older sister, Marilyn, and a younger brother, Bob, and a younger sister, Lindy. I think all of us have won national championships. When we were growing up here and racing, we would watch the Olympics in Innsbruck, Austria, and there were two Americans that um, got a second and third. One was Billy Kidd, who grew up at Stowe. The seed was planted like, boy, I'd really like to be like them. Just thought how cool it was that they were such good skiers, and you know, and there they were skiing right on our home hill. When I was growing up, the pinnacle was the Olympics and the World Championships. In the fall of 1967, I had I had started to do pretty well. It never even dawned on me that there was a possibility that I wouldn't be on the Olympic team. I just felt that I was one of the best U.S. skiers. And I made the Olympic team in 1972. I knew I had the ability to win. I was leading the first run by three hundredths of a second, but I actually started to really choke between runs because I started to think about how much I wanted to win a gold medal. I remember thinking to myself, come on PA, you gotta get a grip on yourself because otherwise you're just gonna blow it. My dad has said, I always thought you were the cool cucumber in the family. And so I thought, yeah, I am. I'm the cool cucumber in the family. <laughs> Barbara Ann Cochran is in first place as she starts down the slalom course for her second run. When I went through the finish, it was kind of like, I was scared to look at the clock, but my, my brother and my boyfriend were kind of like tumbling over the, the fence and they hoisted me onto their shoulders. So that's when I knew I had won. I won by two hundredths of a second. That was the closest finish by, I think for the next um, like 20 years or something like that. It was so special. And then, yeah, there, there was a crowd at the airport. Yeah, it was very, very special. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I think at the time, like I was so naive, I, I didn't really appreciate so much what it meant. I have to believe that it gave such a boost to the ski industry to have an American win a gold medal and, um, and for Vermont in particular to have won. When my dad built the rope toe in the backyard, he had no idea what he was starting. None whatsoever. It was never about making the U.S. ski team or making the U.S. Olympic team. What it was really about was just helping each individual uh, get better at something. Cochrane Ski Area has been in existence since 1961, starting from the rope toe in the backyard and then expanding up to the upper hills. Cochrane's is an 
national treasure. There's something special about it. Everybody cares about everybody else. It's like the families that come and ski here. Really, I just feel like they're part of our greater Cochrane family. Fall on your hip. Yes, good job. I run the ski school at Cochrane's. I've been teaching for 52 years. I'm sure there's thousands of kids I've taught to ski. To learn to ski the Cochrane way, we find that excitement. It's, it's, it's lots of fun. When people have learned how to ski here, what I've noticed is that they carry a lifelong love of skiing and racing. I learned to ski here, I loved it, and, I, and then I went away to a bigger mountain and continued to, to ski, um, but I eventually came back because there's just, there's no other atmosphere like Cochran's. Barbara Ann was always around, she was always helping out and teaching, and you know, she was just kind of that lady who was really involved and in, in helping you out and giving you pointers, and I don't think when we were young we realized what it meant that you know she was so famous, what it meant to win a gold medal. Uh, and then you get older and you realize just how impressive that is. And, and how fortunate we are to have, um, you know, Barbara Ann and the whole Cochrane family here on a daily basis. When I look back on it now, it's it's like amazing to think that that skiing was still relatively a young sport, and our family was part of the history of it. I think skiing gave me the opportunity to kind of blossom as an individual. Life's lessons that I've learned over the years through skiing have been immense. I feel like skiing has given me my life. My son, Ryan, is now on the U.S. ski team as well. So the dynasty continues, I guess. <laughs> I'm Barbara Ann Cochran, and I'm proud to be a Vermont maker.